Good morning. Good morning. Hi guys. Best friends in the whole world. Oh my god, I didn't put my necklace on. Um, how are you doing? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having the best day, the best week. The sun is shining. Things have changed since I've come back from old Inverness, aka the best trip of my life. Do, 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 do. So this video is literally just going to be us chilling around. I've got some things I want to talk about. I've got some things I want to update you on. Um, but first, as always, let me know in the comments, how the hell are you? I need to pick up a parcel. I need to get a new suit suitcase, pardon me. I need to get a new suitcase because I have the worst luck with suitcases. Now I know what you're thinking. Come on, honey. Yep, you can come. There we go. No, thank you. And she's on her phone. Gross. And she almost crashed into the curb. Oh my god. No shame. Absolute no shame. I love how you guys just love like the little um, update videos. So I just thought we'd just go and get like a drink and like catch up about things. I need to get a parcel. I had the worst luck with suitcases. Like, obviously, I'm so grateful I get to travel around and actually use my suitcase. But I swear, it's either, like, I'm packing too much. Because I know some of you in the comments are being like, Mark, you probably overpack. And I say to that, you're probably right. I had... I'm not going to get emotional in this video. <clears throat> I had a really amazing weekend. Um, the weekend just gone. I was in Barcelona with the Vamps boys. Um... Obviously, I've been a fan of them and their music for so many years. We've known each other for like six years, seven years. Been to most of their, well, I think I've been to every one of their UK concerts, uh, like London concerts. And I just love them. And I got invited to go and spend the weekend with them and like, like, I just, just see like them again because I haven't seen them perform in so long. Um... And they obviously smashed it because they're like the most incredible guys ever. And I'm literally their number one fan. And um, I, I couldn't stop getting emotional. Even though that weekend had nothing to do with me. Um, like I was just there as a, as a, as a fan. I don't know, just, it, it's just, uh, uh, I was saying to my mum and dad yesterday, like I can't explain it. Like I've been doing this now for quite a while. And I'm still like, like, what is my life? Like, I brought my friend from uni, and we've known each other for like over ten years now. And just to like, ex like, see her experience this side of YouTube, like the 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 pinch me sort of out of this world moments that I get to live, and like meeting you guys and you guys being so excited to meet me and like. Like, even though it's not about me uh, on that weekend, but I still met a lot of you, and you were so excited, and I was so excited. Like, it's emotional, and I just found myself, like, crying all the time, because I was just like, I feel like, um, oh, Jesus. <laughs> I just feel so grateful, like I do. And you guys are so amazing and so lovely and like, it's literally like meeting friends. Like meeting friends in real life. Um, and yeah, I just had a very massive case of imposter syndrome. Um, like I haven't been anxious. I've just been very like, like coming back to like normal life, whatever normal life is for me, because I know I don't live a normal life. But yeah, I just, Oof. Just crazy. It's just, it's just wild. I go to Avagaveni tomorrow, which I'm super excited about. He was absolutely gorgeous. Um, so my friend is like doing like this retreat, like getaway thing in this house, and I said to him, I'll go and support his his like business venture thing which he's doing so yeah i'm getting an early train tomorrow so i need to get a new suitcase because the one i took to barcelona broke i know i can't believe it the worst problems in the world um but yeah now i just need to go pick up some parcels um it's all go 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 in the life of mark i i want to talk about heart stopper i've got to 
I've got to talk about it in the flesh because I haven't spoken about it and I need to. And if you haven't seen Heartstopper, <clears throat> pause this video, go watch the entire series and then come back because it is just magical and I think it's changed my life. Oh my God, they've still got their Christmas decorations up. Do you know what? I'm actually really excited for Christmas. No, I'm not. It's too early. I'm, there's not. Someone's not even here yet. How many of you still live like where you grew up? If that makes sense. So like, around this area, I've always grown up, but I've moved out a little bit. So like 15 minutes out. So when I drive around these these places, I just get hit in the face with nostalgia. Like there's a like a big circle of shops up here. And each one of them, I have like a memory, like if it's to do with my mum or my dad or my sister or my my friends that I used to have, like growing up around my area or um, my nan and my granddad especially. Is there any parking spaces? Let's see if I can squeeze my little bum hole in these spaces. Any room at the inn? Oh my God, I was that guy in the nativity. Like I was like, mom, dad, I've got a leading role <laughs> in the nativity, come watch me. And it literally was just like, I think Mary was like, any room at the inn? I was like, there's no room at the inn, honey. And that was it. Success, found a parking spot. Woo woo. Oh, hello. Thank you. Like here used to be a massive blockbuster and you know what I'm like by now with my films. Like I swear to God, because when I was younger, I had no social life and I literally just spent all my weekends watching films, watching horror films from the library and Blockbuster. And I tell you what, uh, and I had like these red like neck curtains. Like no, I had neck curtains and then there's these red curtains, but they were sort of see-through. And I can just imagine like sitting on top of my bunk bed and like I had a white wardrobe covered in stickers and like a silver, video TV combo because obviously I'm a 90s child and if you didn't have one of them you're missing out well actually you're not but um, for nostalgic reasons and I used to like watch like my box sets like Xena, Buffy, Angel, what else I used to watch Disney films and then Scream <laughs> but I was definitely not 18 when I watched Scream um, I had my parents consent <laughs> got my parcel so there's a place there's a calf there and it's like blue and it hasn't changed in like 50,000 years um, and I just want to go in there and just like obviously the owners probably don't work, probably don't still work there but I can't be the only one who gets so nostalgic about being a kid I think obviously when I was younger there was like no social media so now there's so many different ways to like as like a teenager to find out what's going on like for me to get in <laughs> for me to get internet i had to go down to my local library pay 50p and wait for it to load for like 10 minutes just so i could see who went out of x factor because i missed it oh my god those were the days I used to go to the library I used to play my little arthur games my little simpson games and my little eastenders games oh dear but i also want to touch upon like i know i mentioned it a lot and like i think because like I've been on social media for so many years. I think, so, I've, well, it doesn't even matter. You don't even have to be on social media to see how much it's changed. And I know I've mentioned it in the past about like these people on TikToks just want to constantly argue and fight with each other on live. And I've seen like, I try to, I really try to cut it out, but TikTok just does not accept me being not interested, you know, that little not interested tab. No matter how many times I press that button, it will pop up like a little hunt. And um, yeah, I think like stuff like that really gets me down. Like, it's so weird. It's so weird what gets me down. And I just think, um, like when I see some of these people on TikTok Live, just like arguing and abusing each other, like it makes me so sad to see what social media like does to people now. <clears throat> and there's like the, there's this, there's this, there's these people that like like a oh my god I don't even know if I should be going into this much detail 
because each to their own but for me like it's still shocking like these people will just be like like asking people for money but like in a very like in a horrible way like oh my god i don't know if i should be saying this <clears throat> Because it's not my problem, I just can't... I could, Like, for example, last night I saw someone on TikTok Live being like, get your purses out, get your money out, gift me, otherwise I'm going. Literally in that sort of attitude. And I was watching it and I was like... And they were getting gifted by their, by their audience. And I was like, what is going on? Like, what on earth is going on that creators are speaking to audiences like that and being like get your money out pay me i want this i want that i mean there's like equivalents to like how much money like a certain gift is and they were like yeah i want a i want a universe i want a lion if i don't get a lion i'm leaving and i was like surely this is a joke i don't know i'm just so oh my god i'm just so old school i know times change and things move on and things progress but I know I'm not the only one who feels the same. Like, they miss, like, how social media used to be. Um, I know some comments are going to be like, well, you have to deal with it. Times times change. People move on. There's so many people on the platform. I'm like, yeah, okay, fine. But I just feel like I've got to call, like, that sort of stuff out because I, will, I need to know that I'm not the only one thinking that that sort of stuff is absolutely wild. Did I ever tell you that I'm allergic to Teddy? Like, I'm allergic to dogs. So I have to take a little um, hay fever tablet every time I see her. That's crazy, isn't it? But she is definitely worth it. But yeah, sorry guys, you know how I don't like to like moan or whinge or complain or like throw anyone under the bus, but I need, I, I need to know that I'm not alone in this. Like, and that's what I love about YouTube. Like when I was, when I open up about my like things in the past, it's so nice that people were relating to it. And I just need, I, I want to know if I'm the only one that's been seeing this because otherwise it's probably just me. It's probably a one-off, but it's not because I've seen it loads of times. But yeah, I don't know. And I'm I'm fine. I stay in my own lane. I don't interfere. I don't want any drama. But it's just bonks. Like it's bonkers. Hello. Oh. Hello. Wee wee wee. Hiya. Oh yeah, she sounded all right. Hey, me baby. Where is it? Go fetch it. Go get your unicorn. Where's your unicorn? Go get it. <laughs> Yay! My donut. Donut for a donut. Oh, Teddy. Hello. <laughs> Oh my goodness! <laughs> my brave girl! How are we going in? Yay! Yay! Did you want to go outside? <laughs> outside? Come on then! Come on then! And go! How are you doing? That was so nice to have a little bit of family time. Next stop, suitcase and a nice bubble tea. Um, no, let's go for a coffee. Hello? Here's my coconut latte coffee. Oh, they gave me a little sippy cup. Let's give that a little stir. Oh. There's also a segment of this video where I want to do like advice. I want to like give you advice. Um because I love doing that and I love like talking about experiences that we can all relate to, and we can all help each other. I wanted to talk about Heartstopper. Now, if you haven't seen it, um, it's on Netflix. I advise you to go see it. The first thing I thought of is just like, holy crap, I would have done anything anything for a tv show like that growing up oh my god um i can't even stress the amount of tv shows we did not have like i think same sex relationships were mostly implied very very loosely in the, some of the tv shows um we watched growing up 
most of them had very negative connotations. Um, apart from Buffy the Vampire Slayer, which was like a massive show for me growing up, still is a massive part of my life. Um, there was a lesbian couple in Buffy. And that was probably the first thing that I ever saw where a TV show made it normal. Like a normal relationship. And yeah, like I said, I'm sure there are other other programs, but there are a lot of shows growing up that had same-sex relationships and they weren't always shown in the best light. Um, and I don't know why that was. And obviously as time's gone on, I've seen so many different um, LGBTQ plus uh, movies that have obviously shown same-sex relationships in a very good light. I've seen so many films, which is great, but I've never seen anything like this. I was so emotional. Like, I cried from episode one till the eighth episode. And they're like 20 minutes long, and it's just such a great, like, like amount for me to watch. It hits home a lot. Like, I, if you've seen it, skip to a few minutes later if you don't want to hear any spoilers. But, um... Like, I've had my Ben, and if you've seen the show, I've had, like, two Bens in my life, and that messed me up. It's, it's messed me up. Like, I don't trust anyone, like, in a romantic way, without feeling very exposed and vulnerable, and I just, and it's just not me not to trust people, but that experience is with my Ben literally has ruined me and I just wish I'd I, even I, even that was up until like four years ago I wish I had something to like look at and just be like Do you know what it's gonna be fine um but better late than never yeah it's just so beautiful and amazing and I just I'm so happy that teenagers and people anyone has that to look up to now for the people who didn't, like I'm so happy for them that they have that and same sex relationships are a normal thing. And it's just, and I just, I don't know. I think it's different, like I don't wanna be, I don't wanna sound like I'm 15,000 years old, but it's how things have changed and evolved since I was like 15, 16. You wouldn't believe it, honestly. For that show to go so mainstream and to become so popular, about two young guys falling in love, and that's it. it. Oh my god, it's just beautiful. Honestly, it was beautiful. It gives it gives me hope. It, honestly, it does. Like, and I really hope it gives other people hope as well. That love is love, love is for everyone. And yeah, I just can't get over it. And I've been doing all the um doing all the web comics, I can't bring myself to finish volume four or the Nick and Charlie book because I don't want it to end. I've seen so many TikToks about saying how, how people in their 20s or their 30s or their 40s didn't have the, like the, um, like the first love at school, like the first romance, which I definitely didn't. And it's so nice that kids, like teenagers and kids now, can experience it without. Obviously, there's still going to be absolute arseholes and homophobia. But I don't know. I just feel like this TV show is going to change things. It's going to change the world even more. Let's talk about it in the comments because I think it's changed my life. Yeah. <laughs> Hmm. Hello! Hello, hello, hello! We've got like a homemade salad of tomatoes and lettuce, honey mustard, onion, sweet corn. We've got them little crispy oniony bits. And I thought, let's... Let's do some advice and eat food together. We're all in this together. I feel like I'm constantly stressing about the future that I'm unable to enjoy the present. Oh my god, I get that. Social media doesn't help. Obviously, social media is amazing, but it also makes you compare 
yourself to everyone and everyone's journey. And when I tell you no one has a clue what they're doing, you may look at someone, oh yeah, they've got more money, they've got more opportunities, they've got more this, they've got more that, but then they may be struggling in other certain ways that you may be thriving in. I love this, I love this saying, comparison is the thief of joy. Um, if you're, if for example, if you're comparing to someone else where they are and where you are, oh my God, you can't, you can't do it. It's your own journey, your own path. Um, you're gonna experience completely different things, different thoughts, different feelings. There's no reason to stress about things you can't really control. Keep going, keep working hard, keep being yourself. Just do everything you can to achieve what you wanna achieve. Where's that stress coming from? Is it coming from your friends and what they're doing? Is it coming from people on social media that you follow? Is it coming from your family? Whoever it is, you need to sit down with them and be like, look, I'm trying to live my life my way. You don't have to do what everyone else is doing at all. As I've gotten older, people say your 20s are the best years of life. Yeah, I had the most amazing 20s. Now I'm in my 30s. Oh my God, I'm in my 30s, woo! Everyone says, oh my God, your 30s are your best. You know what I hear from 40 year olds? Oh my God, your 40s are the best years of your life. And so on and so on and so on. Oh my God, you've got the freaking world there for you. And I've done that, I've, 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 have, I've had days, weeks off, where I've done F all and I've felt so guilty. But things will fall into place, just keep being you, keep working hard, keep being lovely, and things will happen. All the best, I love you. I got blocked after I went on a date and it really hurt my self esteem. Oh, I can imagine, that would do me in. But do you know what? It's got nothing to do with you, sweetheart. It's got something to do with them. If they've blocked you, they're not the one for you. They've got their own stuff going on. Like people, everyone's got their own stuff going on. But if you're lacking communication and you're hurting people's feelings in, in, in the journey, I don't think it's on. I think communication is key. It's got nothing to do with you why they blocked you um, unless you try to murder them, which I'm probably sure you didn't. <laughs> um, Bad advice, Mark, no making jokes. I've been ghosted more times than I've had hot dinners. And then it gets to a point where it's just like, do you know what, yeah, maybe it is me, but I love myself. Like, I'm great, I'm a great catch. Like, okay, yeah, I'm not perfect. I'm a bit full on, but that's me. Oh my God, you're gonna meet so many wonderful people in your life that is gonna accept you for you. And if they don't, they're not part of your circle. They're not gonna be part of your bubble. Titter. Life would be boring if everyone was bowing down to you, not you per se, but to you, to you as a person. If everyone was like, oh my God, obsessed with you, blah, blah, blah. It, would be, it wouldn't be adventurous, it wouldn't be fun, you wouldn't see the world, you know what I mean? I just think you've got to go through these things. Like I feel like everyone's got to go through heartbreak at least once. It sounds painful, it sounds horrible, but some people are lucky enough that they never go through heartbreak, but in certain times they will. Like if you lose an animal, that is heartbreaking. But it, like, there's certain things that you go through that are not great that will build you as a person. That's my opinion. Please just take everything that I say with a pinch of salt. I am not Oprah Winfrey. I am not like some all seeing like advice guru. You know what I mean? I just try to speak about with what I've been through. Oh guys, I love you all so much. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to give it a massive thumbs up, subscribe, and I shall see you very soon. Mwah. Goodbye. <laughs>